I have had a couple comments on my Logitech G29 steering wheel setup video that they can't get their shifter to map the gears. Uh, I don't really know why that is. I've never had an issue with it, but I'm just going to make a video here on how to do it in case you're doing it wrong or I don't know. I don't know how you would be doing it wrong, but either way, I'm going to go over some things here and hopefully it helps. So you have wheel presets, you have Thrustmaster, Fanatec, and then Common Console Preset. There is no Logitech one, so I always use Common Console Preset. If you are not on Common Console Preset, the enter button, the circular button with the little round spinny wheel that goes around it, that is your map button. It will not work unless you're on Common Console Preset. I don't know why. It's just how it is. So uh, all these settings here, uh, these are just what I've always used. I found this somewhere on Reddit a long time ago. Someone said that they felt this felt nice and it was good, and I agree. I like the way it feels, so if you want to try out these settings here, definitely set your sliders to that. And the only other thing I turn on here is invert camera X and invert camera Y. I don't know. I just prefer it to be that way. You may not, but, you know, that's totally up to you. So now, the way I have mine mapped, you want to start with your shifter in the neutral position. Uh, my first gear I have mapped to low minus. So we're going to highlight low minus, we're gonna push X, then it's gonna say press the button you want to assign the selected action. So we're gonna push the shifter up to first gear. So there we go, button 35. Now, uh, low I have mapped to second gear, so we're gonna do the same thing. Start in neutral, push X on the low gear uh, button map thing and then we're gonna go over to the left and push down the second gear button 36 uh, third gear is going to be low plus same thing start in neutral then push up to third gear it's button 37 uh, auto I put in fourth so put your shifter back to neutral select auto go to fourth gear it's button 38 Put your shifter back to neutral. Um, I put high gear in five, so we're gonna select high gear, go over to the right and up for fifth gear, it's button 39. And then I put reverse in sixth gear, so we're gonna select reverse from neutral position, go over to the right, down the sixth gear, it's button 40. And then neutral, um, some people have said, I don't think it works. Yeah. See, I think that's people's problem. You cannot assign neutral to neutral. There is no button, per se, for the Logitech's brain, whatever, that neutral is a button. So you can't, like, start in a gear and then select neutral here and push the shifter into the neutral position. It does not work. But the one thing this shifter does have is if you've ever driven a manual transmission car, you'll know that at most of the time to get, I've driven a, quite a few brands manual transmission cars, they either have a little collar that is below the like knob on the shifter that you pinch with your, you know, your um, index finger and your middle finger and lift it up and then it'll allow you to push the shifter into the reverse gear or um, and Volkswagens particularly, I just know this because I, dr I drove a Volkswagen, a uh, manual Volkswagen for a long time. Uh, you push down and go over to the right and then down, and that's in reverse on this Logitech shifter. That may not be the case for your car. I think my, in my Golf, I pushed down and went all the way over to the left and up beside first gear. I think that's where reverse was. It's been a while now. I have, I have sold that car many years ago at this point. Anyway, uh, I digress. So for neutral, I'm gonna put it in the reverse slot. So we're gonna start in neutral position, select it, we're gonna push down, go over to the right, and then down. And that is button 42, as you can see. So there must be a button 41, which I would assume is neutral, but I, I can never get it to register that. If I would try to set um, neutral to neutral, it always freaks out and honestly I don't think you'd want that anyway because once you have this set up and you use it like see um, we're starting in neutral we go to first gear that's low minus we go to second gear that's low 
third gear is low plus, fourth gear is auto, fifth gear is high, sixth gear is reverse. And then um, push down, go over to reverse, that's neutral. So the way, the reason why I say you should, even if you could get it to map neutral to the neutral position, I wouldn't recommend it because anytime I say I was gonna go into low gear, I'll go to second gear, I'll bump the shifter back up so it's in neutral. It stays in low gear though in this sense. So um, then if I wanted to go back to auto, all I have to do is just bump it down to fourth gear because the neutral position on the shifter, it kind of just sits in the middle. So you're right below third gear and right above fourth gear. So you can just easily just bump it back down into auto and be on your way. So I hope that helps. I mean, I don't, I don't know why it doesn't work for some people. My only assumption is they somehow get neutral to map to neutral because you would think that's what you want, but I don't think that's what you would want. And you saw when I tried to do it from auto, um, cause I just started in fourth gear cause I don't really know how you would get it to register the neutral button. Clearly it is a button because I don't have button 41, but I would just recommend skipping that and just mapping neutral to your, to the reverse gear button of the shifter. So there you go. This should fix anyone's problem with a Logitech T29. I don't, I just literally redid it again myself and it worked perfectly fine for me. Another thing I wanna make a note of, if you're using an extension cable for the Logitech T29 on PS4 or PS5, make sure it is no longer than uh, 10 feet, which I believe is like three meters. Um, and make sure it is a USB 2.0. That is extremely important. And then make sure you are only plugging it into the front slot on the PS5. PS4, I don't believe, has any 3.0 slots, so you should be fine. But the PS5, the rear slots are 3.0. And this wheel really does not like USB 3.0. So do not plug it in with a USB extender that is a 3.0 cable. And do not plug it into a 3.0 slot because this wheel will freak out. It won't work. It'll do weird stuff to you. It'll, it'll just be weird. So just don't do it. And uh, don't get too long of a USB extender because USB doesn't really like to be extended more than like 15 feet. So um, I'm not really sure what that is in meters. I'm I'm American, so I'm sorry. I use Imperial. Uh, but anything over 15 feet, you're going to start to get latency issues. You're going to start to get weird bugs are going to happen. The wheel's going to respond funny for certain things. It may just totally... Uh, disconnect on you just random things will happen so um, if you follow everything I said in this video you should be able to set your wheel up and it should work perfectly fine now you don't have to map your gears obviously to the ones I did here to me that makes sense it's what I've used for the past two years of playing this game with a wheel so it works for me um, but anyway I hope this helped and if you like the video leave a like and subscribe if you want to check out any of my other snowrunner videos I have lots of videos on snowrunner uh, hope to see you around. Have a good one.